Hello my people, welcome back to my channel, Marco here for another K-pop reaction, and today we're going to be checking out NCT Dream's brand new drop, Candy. This is a Christmas title, is it not? Attached to a Christmas mini album, is it not? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know what to expect with NCT whatever, I don't know what to expect because I just... They're so unpredictable, but that's why I love them so much. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me all the comments. I love reading them, interacting with you guys, and of course, learning so much from you as well. Probably going to have some questions during this reaction. So help me out by answering those. Yes, yes, yes. Let's jump into this NCT Dreams candy. Here we go. <laughs> Sweetie of the year Oh Aww. Did they just break into this child's house? <laughs> The purple bandage, yes. Oh. Uh. Oh my <laughs> He has a gun at me. <laughs> Vocals. Oh, shooting candy. What is this? What is happening? Oh. We gotta talk about this. Oh. oh my god, the tree! Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I just watch? What did I just listen to in this music video? Oh my god, he got okay. Um, so I take it they're kind of like Christmas elves when you think about it, they're like idol pop star Christmas elves in this candy factory. Yeah, they're making candy, 
they're packaging it all up and they're shipping it out and we see an example of that shipping it bringing it to this kid's home in the middle of the night right <laughs> oh my God. okay with <laughs> Wait, wait, there's so much happening. This is like a fever dream. Oh my god. This is taking me back to what was it? What was their debut? Was it chewing gum? I reacted to chewing gum. Yeah, chewing gum. When they were it was in 2016 when that video came out. And I if you okay, look, watch my reaction to that music video because I had no idea it was their very first music video and it just blew me away. I was so confused, so confused when I watched that because I couldn't understand who these kids were. It made no sense to me. I was like, "Wait, wait, are they are there kid actors playing?" the members of NCT. I don't know what's happening right now. And it turned out it was actually them. I thought it was child actors playing mini versions, younger versions of them. And then I found out it was actually them. And I was like, what? No, wait, huh? So this is what it feels like right now. Like, obviously, I know it's them. I can recognize them. But in terms of this just feeling and looking, because the colors, I mean, everything in this video is just pop pop poppity pop pop popping as you can see oh no i want to see that dream candy these are the boxes wow okay look at this set okay look at this is so crazy how they constructed this set it is it, i mean it's cartoonish that's what it is and it, it's purposely so but wow, wow, this is their little, not so little, but this is their candy factory. And they're like Christmas elves working at this factory. Hopefully they're unionized and, <laughs> and they're making candy for Christmas. But what is this beat all throughout this song? It starts one way and then it completely changes into something else. And I love how it, the wind up, the wind up in the instrumental sounds like, what does it sound like? It sounds like a police car. It sounds like a car siren from a police car. Candy, and then it turns into something more bubblegum pop. But yeah, it actually it goes through with with it being hip hop. This is reminding me so much of beatbox, beatbox. This particular beginning section, this is totally Mark, and I wouldn't be surprised if Mark himself came up with this entire introduction to the song. Wouldn't be surprised. It's Mark. It's it's Mark. Three, two, one. Uh. Uh. Ah. And then this. What is this? Excuse me. What is this? What is happening right now? This instrumental. This beat. This melody. This is a video game. This is a video game. I'm watching. I'm listening to a video game. And then we have Hey chan who comes up out of nowhere with his purple band-aid. Purple's my favorite color, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 yes. Now let me tell you something about Hey chan Yes, 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 yes. Him, okay, I reacted to, I don't even remember what it was I was re reacting to, but he sounds like, I compared his vocals to a strawberry. If a strawberry could sing this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it would sound like it would sound like hey chan and hey chan would sound like a strawberry he sounds like a strawberry but let me just listen to this instrumental again because candy <laughs> i like how it goes again we get it a second time prolong it a bit 
Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, my god. So oh so it's not just the sets, guys. It's what they're wearing. It's what they're wearing to complement the sets. Just the colors are popping again. So very cartoonish, and I love it. But I gotta say, yeah, I see Candy Factory. See, I, I there's a lot of th things that I missed the first time around. Play time mode. So I love the fact that in this setting here, do we get a lot of scenes with them in this yellow? this yellow set i don't think we do i really don't think we do i think when they release the dance not the dance practice the dance performance video we'll probably get a whole ton of these scenes in it i think so i think so but i love what they're wearing i love what they're wearing strawberry yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, first of all, the phone. The phone itself is tripping. Okay, the, <laughs> the phone itself is tripping. But I, I also got to say that I love that <laughs> there's this like... <laughs> there's this fucking sound effects. <laughs> I love, wait, wait, wait. Bro, if your phone's doing that, you might have to take it in for some repairs because the phone's not supposed to do that, man. Uh, yeah. Sweetie of the year. Oh, so I guess Sweetie of the Year, um, that might be the kid, right? He was like the most pleasant, well-behaved kid of the year. So he's the one that they go visit and bring all the candy. You got to love that his hat here, his toque, is um, whatever you want to call it, is what? Chanel. Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, Chanel. <laughs> But I do got to say, I do, and I love that they're wearing their names on their um, their hoodies. But I got to say, I love the fact that um, there's there's a switch up now in the pre-chorus. It sounds, it's very nostalgic. It's so nostalgic sounding because it sounds like one of the old pop Italian songs I used to listen to way back when. It really does. I don't know how to explain it, but we're going to listen to it right now. This part. Okay, no, listen, listen. That melody, I don't know what it is, but I swear it sounds so much like one or ten or a hundred other older Italian pop songs that I've listened to throughout my life. I don't know, it is, oh my god, it's taking me back. But I also love the little dance he does. Oh, I love these shots here. These shots, oh, so cool. I love them. He wakes up. Ah, so he sees them. He sees them in, like, uh, yeah, it's a nice house. I gotta say, he's pretty well off. Um, <laughs> so, like, what happened to the less fortunate guys? <laughs> so he comes in. Oh, what what are in his eyes? He sees purple. He sees purple. Oh, their hearts. That's so cool. Now I'm crying alone. No, what? I'm not even reading the lyrics. There's so many things happening. You imagine, guys. Okay, you imagine you wake up and this is what you find in your house. I mean, I... I... What did I do? I was good. I was good. I this is my Christmas present. I mean, look at his sweater. Okay. 
he has a car on his sweater with the sky and the moon or it's the sun it's the sun and out in the desert i assume and what is happening i don't know but it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing yeah Did you see the child run across the room like Chucky? <laughs> okay, so we do get a lot of the yellow scenes. Oh, he has hearts all over his pants. Did you see that? He has hearts on his pants. Oh, love. Did you guys see the table, uh, the stand with the light? There are animals holding it up. Did you? What is that? What are those? There's like the lamp, the stand right beside the couch. It, what are those things holding it up? Are they squirrels? Are they beavers? What are those? I bet you no one, no one has pointed those out. I bet you, oh, look at this with the teddy bear. Ah. What, ferrets, are they ferrets? And they're holding up the stand. Oh, that's cute. I have to say, guys, did anyone expect this song to sound like this? Not I. Not your honor, not I. No, no. no. The shoes. What did that say? 90s? Wait, what does it say? 90s what? 90s arcade so okay so this is what i wanted to mention and i realized it uh as the song continued on my first watch the song the instrumental especially in the beginning part after the whole hip-hop section it sounds like a video game and then we actually have them in an arcade so again completely intentional <laughs> That's another thing I wanted to talk about with this instrumental. So we have the chorus, and then instead of reverting back to maybe uh, the second verse, not sounding as full, not sounding as compact as, of course, the chorus sounds, they don't go that way at all. In fact, the second verse sounds just as compact, just as full as the chorus. It has been a while since i've heard a song do that listen to that listen to that listen to that here we go oh my god i love it i will always love mark's voice man uh. Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be for kids. He has a gun. I know, I know it's a toy gun, but um I love that he actually wins the prize at the arcade and it's half a heart, right? And then uh he connects it with the other half later on. Okay, yeah, so we do get some more scenes with them in the yellow setting here. So wait, shooting candy, and yeah, I love the Rubik's Cubes. I love how they go all out with these videos. Oh, I love the heart. The target is a heart. Of course it is. I mean... <laughs> Oh, he won all those, eh? I 
love that. Oh, the ring. Oh, why? Why do they gotta be so good? <laughs> why do they gotta be so good? And I do love also, I should mention, I do love that the heart is animated like it's 8-bit old video game graphics, right? Yeah. I'm trying to count all the colors, the band-aid colors that they all have. Error. I don't know what the glove is about. This is how they... Oh, so the machine is in error. If you noticed, it, the machine is in error. It says in the background. And then uh, they connect all the hearts to it. And of course, that's what fixes it. Ah! Yeah, see? Oh my god. And I do got to say that this chorus... I mean, the whole song is a whole... But the chorus... It sounds, again, like the pre-chorus itself, very nostalgic, very of the times way back when. I don't know when, but it just doesn't, it doesn't necessarily sound like something today. It does sound like something years ago. I don't know how long, but years ago. Time has passed. And um, yeah, I think what they wanted, I think what they were aiming for is something that sounded classic but still sounded modern of today, but with the feeling, the vibe, the atmosphere being of, I've heard this before, I've heard this many times before, I've heard this many years before, but I'm hearing it brand new now. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the intent of everything that's happening in this song, sonically. <laughs> This set with the tree. Oh, wait, I want to see the set. I love it. This reminds me of the Grove. I don't know why. The Grove in LA. I think it's just like the houses or stores, department stores that are just kind of um, surrounded around this tree. But um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, the lamps as well. I don't. I don't think that's where this is at all, at, at, at all, but it just reminds me of the Grove. Have you ever been to the Grove or Googled the Grove? It just reminds me of that. I don't know why. Hey. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Mark doesn't have a band-aid. Okay, but he has a blue fuzzy wuzzy hat and glove. We have the yellow band-aid. We have, okay, so he doesn't have Band-Aid either, but lover boy on his hat. Yellow, red, purple, okay, orange. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, candy, crazy, crazy candy. This was crazy in the best of ways. This is, it's like, I don't know, Christmas music on acid. <laughs> Something is definitely in that candy. I'll tell you that much. I hope that kid's all right. <laughs> well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending this time with me as I react to NCT Dreams candy. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me all the comments. Let me know what you thought of this song. Let me know what you thought of this video. And of course, let me know what you thought of this Christmas mini album that NCT Dream have just dropped. Let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll speak again real soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>